So I just got out of Oppenheimer, and since you clicked on this thumbnail, you obviously can tell that my opinion goes un poco against the grain. Now, after you're done unsubscribing and disliking the video, please listen to my opinion and tell me why you disagree. Or maybe you do agree. This entire video will be mostly spoiler free because frankly I don't have a whole lot to say about it. And I feel the more I do say about it, the more any shred of credibility I have to critique a work of art to you all will quickly burn away. I had very lofty expectations. A 90 on Metacritic usually means masterpiece, and my opinions usually align with most major critics. That is clearly not the case with this film. I walked out of the theater somewhat disappointed, so let's start with what I didn't like about the film. The most immediate thing that stood out to me was its editing. I thought this movie was an absolute chore to get through visually. It's so utterly frenetic, offering the viewer not a moment to breathe throughout its entire three-hour runtime, and not in a good, intentional feeling way like in Good Time or Uncut Gems. Now, I guess you could argue that given their race to beat the Nazis, such a pace is justified, but, and I guess this is a very minor spoiler, when that race reaches its conclusion, there is no subsequent ease-up. It just didn't feel like a real movie to me. I felt like I was watching a three-hour long trailer. It's just constantly jumping from scene to scene, line to line, past, present, future, it's, it's not that I found it difficult to follow along, I just found it frustrating to watch. It felt jumbled, restless. The other analogy I'd offer is that it felt like a three hour long finale to a movie. Think of a movie finale, when everything's coming together, the pace is more frantic, except stretched throughout its entire runtime. I kept waiting for the movie to slow down and for the movie to start. I also had issues with its characters. Not the performances, every single one was top-notch, 100% believable, excellent, fucking Oscar-worthy, fine. I think Nolan is one of the best actors-directors working today, full stop. I also think he can't write characters for shit. When his movies come close to having compelling characterization, it's usually when he works with his brother Jonathan Nolan. The Prestige, The Dark Knight, The Dark Knight Rises, and Interstellar perhaps especially all had interesting character stuff going on, and they were all co-written by Jonathan Nolan. On the other hand, save Inception, I guess, when Nolan's writing on his own, Dunkirk, Tenet, this, characterization becomes a problem. I guess for the record, I didn't really connect with Dunkirk either. It's probably the greatest film of all time from a technical perspective, but many of the issues I had with that film persist here, namely the lack of characters or a story. Oppenheimer appears to be a complex person, and the movie, I guess, tells you that, but it felt more like a transliteration of a Wikipedia article about Oppenheimer, more or less describing his complexity without any sort of actual contextual depth. Another disappointment for me personally, and this is very minor, I guess. I paid for the IMAX presentation, and I didn't feel it was at all justified. Maybe it was louder than a standard screening would have been, but nothing in the visuals justified the format for me. Another teensy spoiler, I guess, but like 99.99% of the film is just jumping from one room full of men talking or arguing to the next. Which is fine if that's what your movie is, but it didn't really feel worthy of the format to me. It felt bereft of what makes a movie a movie. I felt like I was watching a non-linear Wikipedia article that lacked characters with clear arcs, a coherent story structure, emotional depth, and perhaps most egregiously, any sort of tension. That's probably my biggest complaint. I felt no tension. I was kind of bored. I didn't feel like there were any real stakes for me to care about, especially when any fourth grader knows the broad history of the subject. There was never any fear of them not making the bomb, or the Nazis making it first, or the Ruskies doing this or that. I think the film does ask some interesting questions about the morality of what they accomplished, and the few glimpses into the psyche of Oppenheimer were truly fascinating, but these felt like brief, tantalizing little nuggets that I wish the movie was actually about, not what we ended up getting. It felt torn between wanting to be a courtroom drama, a character study, and a suspenseful thriller. My mind kept drifting to a movie that I think handles all of this somewhat similarly, and a lot better in my opinion, one of my favorite films ever, The Social Network. There are a lot of cool and creative technical moments in the film that I don't really want to describe or spoil, and I think there are interesting things that it's trying to say thematically, but it's all sandwiched in a product that doesn't really work for me. So yeah, I didn't connect with this movie. So yeah, I didn't connect with this movie. I really desperately wanted to, and Nolan's one of my favorite filmmakers, but this may be my least favorite Nolan film to date. And that includes Tenet, which is a much, much, much worse film, but it felt more like 
a real movie? I don't know what to say. I really enjoyed every Nolan film from following to Interstellar, but his last three films just haven't done it for me. Again, Tenet is the only one that I would say actually veers into being a genuinely mediocre film. This and Dunkirk don't work for me for other reasons. Now on to what I liked about the film. Um... The Trinity test was cool. What did you think of Oppenheimer? Let me know in the comments. Please don't eviscerate my clearly objectively wrong opinion too much. And hey, maybe subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.